Hey guys, Megan here, and time for a quick August TBR. Had to think there for a second. So, real quick, I'm going away to Canada, Nova Scotia, for a week tomorrow. And that's why I'm filming on my webcam right now, because I am very short on time. I'm trying to finish up packing and get my room tidied up so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow before I leave. But I want to get this video up here, just have one video up on this channel for the week. And since I'm not going to be able to upload anything until next Wednesday at the earliest. Because I suck at planning. So anyway, August is going to be a really tentative reading month for me. I have a few books that I plan to read for sure, for one reason or another. And, um... Yeah, I am not going to be taking part in booktube a this year, which is kind of sad. Um, just because I have work. Like, I'm coming back from Canada the day booktube a starts. And then for the remaining of booktube a I'm going to be working. Because I want to work as much as I can before school starts up again. To try and not be super stressed out. Because that sucks. Anyway, on to the books. <laughs> so... First on my list is Cinder by Marissa Mayer. This I've been wanting to read for a while, like a good while, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I've heard people gushing about it, and I don't want to in on this, because I like fairy tale retellings, and this is what this series is about, and I want to catch up before winter comes out in November, I think it is. So yeah, I got some catching up to do. Yeah, this is on the list. Stuff around. All right. Next, I want to re reread. I should say, "Air of Fire" by Sarah J. Mass. And yeah, "Queen of Shadows" is coming out September first. Oh my God! I'm so excited for that. So you know, I want to reread this. So things are fresh in my memory. I might try and reread "Throne of Gra bleh, Throne of Glass" and "Crown of Midnight" as well, if I have the time. But, you know what, I have a long flight tomorrow, so this is a decent length book, so it should kill quite a bit of that time, so I'll reread this then. Yeah. Next, I have also kind of another reread. I didn't have it on my Goodreads for some reason or another, because when I read it, I just wasn't really good at keeping up on that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be rereading... The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And when I read this book right when it came out, I loved it. Just something about Holly Black's writing I just adore. And she's easily one of my must-read authors. So, yeah. I will always want to reread her stuff. So, yeah. And next I have another reread. Mostly because I want to reread it, because I like rereading. And that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And I don't know, I've just been wanting to reread this for a while, but I've been putting it off because I have so many other things that I want and need to read. So, I've been kind of pushing that aside, but you know what? I might bring this to read on my flights as well, just so I have, you know, a little something to choose from. Got like seven hour to kill tomorrow, so yeah, <laughs> I want to have enough reading material. No! Alright, the next two books are two books from my TBR from last month, or this month I should say technically, July, that I have not gotten to yet, and they are The Iron Trial by Holy Black Cassandra Clare. And I want to read this before September because the next book comes out. I believe it's also September 1st. There are a lot of books coming out on September 1st, apparently. So, yeah, I want to get through this so that I'm ready and round to go when the book comes out. And next I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yangtze. My phone's going off. By Rick Yangtze and... Yeah, I still need to get to this. Um, I feel bad, because I've had this on my shelf for ages. And, yeah, I should get to it. 
and I want to get to it because I believe there are aliens in this book from the vague things I have overheard. I try not to pay too much attention to synopsises that people tell me because I don't like to be spoiled. I believe this has to do with aliens and the only other alien book I've really read was the Look series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So, you know what? I should get into some more alien stuff because it's different. And because I don't recall picking something last month, or did I do something for June too? I can't remember. It's all blending now. I guess I'll pick something from my huge overflowing TBR jar. So I'm just going to put something from the top because I don't feel like digging. And my pick is Tides by Betsy Cornwell. And, yeah, I'm excited for this. This is something that I swear is on the first page of my Goodreads. And from the looks of things, it has either something to do with mermaids, maybe selfies, um, one or the other. Some sort of sea creature, which I am looking forward to. So, yeah, that's going to be a pretty good TBR. No, this isn't going to be set in stone. This is just what I hope to stumble across this month. And it's up to change. Who knows, I might be in the mood for something else. It's not like I don't have plenty of books on my shelf next to me to pick from. Because I am being very slow at reading right now. And now I'm just rambling. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really it for this video. That's going to be one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven books. Another thing that I hope to get to, um, I hope to reread A Daughter of Smoke and Moon. I read it in July, but I did not get a chance to film a little book review talk video before today. And I know when I come back from Canada, I'm probably going to be really fuzzy on details. And I don't want to just be like, I think this happens, I think this happens, I think this happens, and just be totally off. So I'm going to attempt to reread it before I get a review up so that things are fresh in my mind when I film. So yeah, so seven or eight books. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, that will be it for this video, and I hope to see you guys next time. So yeah, see you guys next week.